Well, she's certainly not taking it easy on us, British singer Adele is back with her first new music in six years. The first single from her new album, 30, is called Easy On Me. And it's already breaking records, racking up 24 million streams on Spotify in just 24 hours. And in just three days, the video for the song has more than 69 million views on YouTube. Adele says her new music was inspired by her divorce from her ex-husband and fans are ready to relive every moment of her. Of, of it with her. Well, let's go to Bob Leftetz, Leftetz uh, music writer for uh, the Leftetz Letter. Thank you very much for joining us. The music industry, Bob, is certainly banking on Adele. Well, you know, it's very complicated because everything breaks on the internet now as opposed to radio. And there's been a lot of pent-up demand for Adele. It's been six years since this last record. And the pent-up demand has generated the numbers you speak of. But the track itself doesn't sound like a hit. It sounds like a setup for the album. And I would not expect these numbers to continue. In the modern marketplace, something can come out, be very successful for a few days, and drop off. And I don't believe this is as uh, solid as Hello or some of her other earlier songs like Rolling in the Deep. But that does not mean the album itself. She worked with a lot of hit makers. Max Martin has hits with everybody. You know, the Weeknd, he just has one with Coldplay and BTS. That's on the album. So maybe the, I don't think they'd put out the album unless they had hits on the record. But I don't hear this particular track, I think, as being a hit. Just pent up demand that's driving those numbers. The industry, though, has certainly changed since the release of her last album six years ago and, and the one before that, 21, which, of course, was extraordinary. Yes, dramatic. When she came out with 21, people were still buying CDs. She sold three times as many as anybody. These are numbers like Michael Jackson numbers when he did Thriller and sold 30 million copies. However... 25 was not as successful. She went on the road. She could have gone on, stayed on the road for years. There was such demand. But in the interim, it's become completely about streaming. And in streaming, it's not only in CDs you buy it, you may or may not play it. Now it's about playing it. And all of these streaming services skew young. So will that affect her ultimate number. Justin Bieber has 850, almost 900 million streams of his song Peaches, which is not a good song. And Adele is better than that, but he's appealing to a very young demo. Adele appeals to an older demo. However, the metric today is not really streams. It's how whether you can sell tickets. But it's and also, she's it's also bold... about it's also about TikTok, isn't it? I mean, if a song like Date Night at Applebee's can can become such a big hit here in the U.S., you know, a, a, anyone can make it in many ways. Uh, what, you know, Adele, though, doesn't she transcend all of this? Well, the issue is she does transcend it, but the framework has changed since she's last had music. Because there used to be a download business. There used to be a physical business. Although there's a little bit of a vinyl business now, now it's about streams. Older demo songs do not stream as much. Younger people might play it 100 times straight. Older people will not. As far as TikTok, TikTok appeals to a very young demo. It is best when the songs are unknown. If she has a hit on this record, believe me, it will be recognized. And since she worked with these hit makers, I have to believe there are hits on the record. It's coming out November 19th. This track seems to be a setup of the tone of the record about her divorce, her emotionality. So you can do that today. The other thing today, unlike in the past, if you have a track that sniffs, if you come out with another track that's successful, that's fine. The, and that can break. The other thing, she's selling a complete album. And with most people, it's really about a track. Some acts, Lil Nas X didn't put on an album until he had multiple hits. So will there be an embracing of her new music? Absolutely. But will it be the phenomenon that it was with 21? Almost no one can repeat that phenomenon. Michael Jackson died trying. Alanis Morissette had Jagged Little Pill, although she's still on the road. The Eagles had Hotel California, then did the long run and broke up. So you have to tamp down your expectations. 
But in these days where music is mostly collaborative, yeah. there's so much invested. The opportunity cost is so high. The labels usually don't put out the album unless there's a guaranteed hit on the album. This is not it, but I would anticipate the next one would be. Lots of anticipation, I think. And what is so interesting about Adele is that she certainly moved at her own pace. And that, I take my hat off to her for that. Bob uh, Lefzet, it's always great to get your insider views on the music industry. Thanks so much. I do look forward to the rest of the album. Let's see how it plays out. So do I. Good talk, Adele. You too.